Hello and welcome to Biz Headlines on Ghana Web TV. My name is Enesdina Sawa Asante. To our very first story, President Nanado Dankwe Kufuado has said Ghana remains the second biggest economy in West Africa. The president said this is despite the country's low credit rates and other issues that have led the country into the current economic crisis. Speaking at the presidential breakfast meeting on agriculture and agribusiness financing in Accra on October 16th, the president urged banks to increase their lending to the private sector. President Ekufuado emphasized the fact that people tend to forget Ghana's credentials on the continent. However, if the current states, if the current rate of credit increased even marginally, Ghana will do better. Eurobond holders are likely to take a nominal haircut between 30 to 40 percent in the yet to be commenced external debt restructuring program. Bloomberg has reported the development comes after Ghana halted payment of its Eurobond debt back December 2022 due to a raft of economic challenges pushing it to seek an IMF bailout program. Finance Minister Ken Oforiata speaking during an investor meeting in London on October 16 said two commercial credits Two commercial creditor groups, one regional and one international, have since shared their restructuring proposals to government. The Ghana Statistical Service has shown that the producer price inflation for September 2023 has reduced to 25.1 percent. This is indicative of a 3.14, the month-on-month -month change in the PPI between August 2023 and September 2023 was 2.7 percent. The PPI in the manufacturing sector for September stood at 16.0 percent. President Nanado Dankwe Kufuado has assured Ghanaians that government will work to ensure that inflation reduces to 15 percent by the end of 2024. He also stated his optimism over the fact that by the end of the 2023, inflation will reduce. Currently, the inflation rate stands at 38.1 percent as of September 2023. The president made the statement when he met with the Christian Council of Ghana at the Jubilee House. Hydrological engineer Wise Ametepe has squashed claims that the spillage of the Yakosombo and Port Dams was as a result of engineering failure. According to him, the unfortunate incident can be linked to the lack of coordination among agencies within the Volta Basin responsible for the smooth running of the dams. Engineer Ametepe, in an interview on Wednesday, October 18, stressed that what is happening is purely hydrological. The Public Interest and Accountability Committee has published its 2023 semi-annual report on the management and use of petroleum revenues in Ghana. The report covers the period January to June 2023 and encompasses a broad range of issues relating to petroleum revenue management. It is also in fulfillment of Section 56 of the Petroleum Revenue Management Act 2011, Act 815 contained in the Public Interest and Accountability Committee's semi-annual report were findings and observations which included the total number of existing petroleum agreements which has reduced from 14 to 13 as of June 2023 due to the relinquishment of AGM Petroleum's entire interest in the South Deep Water Tado contract area. The report, amongst other findings, pointed out that Jubilee Oil Holdings failed to pay proceeds from lifting in H1 2023, amounting to $70,456,718.93 in petroleum holding fund. That's all by way of news this week. Do log on to www.ghanaweb.com for more stories. Do well to follow us on all social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Ghana Web. On YouTube, Ghana Web TV. My name is Ernestina Sewa Asante. Do have a blessed weekend. <music>